Hello, Scoreholio organizers. This is Ben with Scoreholio. I'm going to go ahead and go over our uh, team generation called a multi-match. Multi-match is where you can have teams play versus teams, and they can play a multiple, uh, different combination of singles and doubles matches to have one team beat another team uh, to move on in a bracket. Currently, this is only available for a single or a double elimination tournament, um, and so we'll go ahead and get right into it. You can see on the left I have my computer screen, and on the right I got a phone simulator, so I'm going to show you how the players score on the right if they're doing player scoring, and how to set everything up on the left as an organizer. So if I go over here to run a tournament and sign in, I'm going to go ahead and go to Pickleball first for this tutorial. Uh, there's a popular uh, multi-match uh, format called uh, MLP, which is four doubles matches. And that's kind of going to be the one that we're going to go over for this tutorial. Uh, but you could do any one of the multi-matches in any other of the sports as well. So if I click on this tournament here that I already have made and I'm going to go to this edit, I'll show you uh, how to go ahead and get it set up. So this is a multi-match tutorial. You're going to put your date and time and where it is, uh, private or public, if you want it to be seen on the um, public list of tournaments. Now, here is the format. So you do have to do single or double elimination in order to get the multi-match team generation. Um, we do not have it available on round robin or set schedule uh, currently, but we do plan on adding it down the road. Um, for this tutorial, I have three courts, but you can really put as many courts as you want. Um, and then I have 11 uh, for my score limit, which means that once the players hit 11 on their scoreboard, that's when the submit button will come up. And if you ever have any questions, feel free to click this info button and it'll give you a lot of information that you need um, that I'm going over here. Um, one thing to know is if you do charge for a ticket, let's say it's $100 a team, one of the players, the first player to sign up, will actually pay the entire $100. They'll have to go and ask for the money from their uh, their partners um, you know, for their registration. But it's just easier as an organizer to collect the entire thing and then let them handle it as a team on the side. Um, here's where you can like limit. Let's say we only want to allow 16 teams in here and we could uh, turn on a wait list and if we wanted to accept payments, we could do all of that here. And if you ever need to learn more, go to docs.scoreholio.com and you can find out a lot more information there. If you want them to have fancy, fun team names, you can always change this to custom team names, so that way they can put them in when they're signing up. Or if you just want it to be their first name, last name, or display name, you can change it there. Um, last thing I want to show you is if you do click on this court names and numbers, I have it set up where you know one match will be actually played on courts one and two, and then the other match would be on three and four. So I label my courts as one and two, three and four. If you're playing a lot, like you need four courts, it'd be one through four and then five through eight. You know, that's how you would set it up. Uh, and then you can put all the other stuff in here. I'm going to go ahead and get into the tournament now. On the right here side here, I'm going to pretend like I'm a player. Players just have to go to player profile. That's where they can sign up and get their, all their information. If they want to do duper, they could, uh, if in pickleball, they can just link up there. If they ever want to change anything, they can click on this uh, bracket here, and that's how they're going to update their player information. Um, and, of course, if they want to get rid of ads and, uh, you know, see all their advanced uh, um, information or stats, they would want to upgrade to SPR Plus. It's only $1.99 a month. But players don't need that to score from their phone. They can score from their phone for free. And so in order to do that, they would go to find a tournament here. And if they are in the tournament, it's going to go ahead and, um, well, first it's going to find their location. This is a simulator, so it's taking a little longer than it would um, for an actual player's phone. Um, but we're going to go ahead and give it another second or two, or we might just come back to it as it keeps on doing that. And we'll go back over here to our multi-match tournament. So I'm going to click on my multi-match tournament as the organizer, and I'm going to go into this admin here. And when I go into the admin, you're going to see I already have a couple things set up here. So, oh, there goes our simulator. It found it. It's actually a UK simulator, so it's probably trying to figure out where in the UK it was. Um, but now if I come back over here to my admin, I'll go, we'll get back to this one over here. Um, if, play, if, if we have pre-registration on and teams sign up in pre-registration, they'll be over here. Um, I already made a couple teams over here. You know, if you ever need to add somebody or you take them off, 
and you add a new player on, you can always do that by clicking on them and adding them over here. Um, if you ever want to do, if you have a big spreadsheet, you want to do it from that, you can do import spreadsheet uh, to pre put people in. And um, you can go to docs.scoreholio.com to learn more about that. But anyways, if they're all in pre-registration, you just click it and you would check in the team and it would move them over here. And then now you have all your teams checked in. Getting back over here to the player side, if we have upcoming pass and mine, if a player clicks on mine and they have player highlighted, they can see the tournament here. And if I click on it, they can go to this dashboard button here, and that's where they're going to see everything in real time as we move along this tournament. You can see we have three teams here, and we have three teams here. So the players see what you see over here. So now I'm going to go ahead and go to this bracket setup, and I'm going to create my bracket. This is where you're going to set up your multi-match. So how you want to do your championship match, that's up to you. Your tiebreaker deciding game, um, right now we only have tiebreaker. Don't even worry about this one. Just keep it as tiebreaker. Multi-match format. This is where you're going to choose what you want to do. So we have a couple different ones. Two doubles, four doubles, single, all the way down to four singles, two doubles. For this one, I'm going to do that MLP format I was talking about, and that's what they do um, in, in a pickleball a lot. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that one. Now, you can actually, if you're doing singles and doubles, give them different points assignments. So let's say that you want to give point singles you know, more value, you can always make them worth two points. And then if they win a doubles match, you know, make them only worth one. You know, you could really you toggle that and, and mess with it to, you know, because there is a tiebreaker in all of those uh, to get to the different tiebreakers. If we want to randomize the seating for the bracket, you can always click this. If you want to change the seating and drag them up and down, you can always do this to move them to wherever you want. And then once we're uh, ready to go, um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, create this bracket. And what you're going to notice when I create this bracket, it's going to update the player's phones over here in real time. And now you can see we only have, you know, um, one court because we only have that's how big it is here. So if I make this bigger here, um, you can see Team Ben versus Team Nick. And it's the uh, same thing over here. And what I could do is if I'm a player in this match, I'm going to go ahead and click on this. And it's because I'm in this match, I'm going to get this live score this match button. And if I go ahead and live score this match, it's going to pull up all the matches to live score. I can do the same thing over here as the admin. And if I click on the, the court and then click on it, you'll see it pulls up the same exact thing. So let's say that one, um, you know, the captains get together. And in this match, they want to have Sherry and Brooklyn play Tim and Laura. They could just save that and they could go through. And you'll see it updates over here, right? So let's say we do this one over here. We want Sherry in Brooklyn versus Nick and Sally Fields. And there we go. And then in this one, we want Laura and Sally versus Brooklyn and Scooby. And save that. Now, you don't need to do all of them and save them. But, you you know, you could just click on them and you could do save and score and just go ahead and get playing. But basically what you could do is you could set up the entire match, right? And then see how it says courts one and two? So these two teams would go over to courts one and two, set up their matches, and say, okay, let's get this one going on court one and this one going on court two. And what they do is they click on it, and they could click save and score this match. And now they're going to go ahead and live score this match just like they normally would. Let's say this one gets up to, you know, 11 to 6, and they click submit. And they're going to come back here. And it's going to go one to nothing Team Ben over Team Nick and show that there. Now, if I was live scoring this match as a player over here, I could just you know go out and play or I could score it in real time. I click start game. I click the top half of the number to go up, bottom half of the number to go down. And if I get to 11 here, oh, well, I went to 12. Let me go back down to 11 and 11 to three. And I click submit. It's going to go ahead and make that game. So now we have a tie game. And if we get all the way down, oh, I got too many people in here. Let's go to just two people here. And I start this game and I get up to, I'm just going to do it on this side. Um, but you could do it on the players or the players could be doing it as well. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and give Team Nick uh, the win on this one. So you can see that if it actually ties, do, 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 um, then it will allow that tiebreaker game to become available and then you could score and say, okay, maybe we're just doing singles for this one and we can save and score. You could do doubles. You could do all three. It doesn't really matter. Up to you guys. And now once we get to 11, we submit this 
And now that match is going to be over. And we can click the Submit All Matches and submit the matches. And that's going to go ahead and get that game off of the courts and put the next game on the courts. It looks like I gave myself, oh, look at I'm getting my alerts as a player over here. But now you can see that, oh, I got to update the location there. Sorry about that. <laughs> so uh, let me go ahead and get back over here to this one. And you can see that it moved Team Ben ahead in the uh, bracket. And Team Ben won 3-2 to two because we won that tiebreaker and it moved forward. The same thing would happen over here. It just happened to put Team Ben back on court one and two. And that's why it was ready for this person to go ahead and score. So that's how you uh, score as a player in a multi-match situation. Um, the players, as always, can go ahead and get over to their uh, dashboard and see the same thing over here as we do over here. Um, and now they have their bracket um, going forward. They can see the standings as teams start to lose. Um, and if it's a double elimination, drops them down. But that's how a multi-match tournament works. Um, as I mentioned earlier, you know, we do have a lot of different formats that you can run if you want to do uh, some fun different ones. Um, and other than that, it's easy peasy. Thanks a lot.